Hey there, it's Michael Good from ReaperTrades.com and uh, I've got not really a trade recap, just talking about one trade CWNR and why am I doing this? Mostly just because, you know, I want to have notes on it. Okay, SMCE. This was Best Damn Penny Stock's previous pump uh, and this had actually been pumped th two times before this mid-December 2010 pump. Interesting thing, first day, big up day, didn't see anything about it no pump, no news, and uh, people are like, why, why is this going up? Uh, and uh, it actually turns out that it was Best Damn Penny Stocks had a new website, they have a bunch already, uh, and from that new website they were having people pay them to subscribe to a premium version where they got the pump early. So those premium people and people that heard about it bought earlier, then the next day all the free pumpers, or the people that follow the free pump newsletters get it, and then it drops like a rock. Uh, today, with CWNR trying something different, uh, the premium people s said, uh, they said to them, okay, go to the special uh, URL on our website, you'll get the pump at 9.33 a.m., all the free people, all the different websites that, that are free, 9.47 a.m. Actually, what happened is I got the email from the premium thing early, before 9.30 a.m., and no, don't ask me which website it is, I'm not going to tell you. I don't want people paying uh, the uh, premium. I don't want people paying pumpers money to get too much money as it is, and they all deserve to rot in hell, and I don't want them getting any benefits from what they're doing. So, uh, I actually bought 65,000 shares, or thereabouts, uh, had an odd share number, uh, between 9.31 and 30 seconds and 9.33 and 40 seconds. Uh, 0.115 uh, for all of those shares except for 5,000 which are at 0.12. I filled routing to night and then reroute to BMAS, BMAS, the market maker. Uh, BMAS was on the offer just slowly upticking for all this portion so I'm assuming that they were the ones uh, you know that paid for the, not BMAS themselves but whoever was selling all those shares were the ones who were paying for the pump and uh, yeah, and they were selling all the shares that they had to sell. Um, and by letting it sort of slowly uptick rather than you spike crazily, that increases the total buying because people will buy something that's slowly upticking, but they won't buy something that's like doubled in one minute. Uh, and again, I don't know that. Uh, maybe it was just various bag holders that were selling through there. Who knows? But anyway, I started selling at 17 cents. I sold like 25,000 or so at 18 cents, just a couple minutes before this, it went sort of parabolic. And the reason was at 941, 942, I started to see a couple of different of the free sites had put it on their websites. Uh, so I wanted to sell into that buying. And, uh, but it was just a little too soon. I should have waited for a couple of minutes. It takes most people who aren't, you know, professional day traders like myself, a couple of minutes to buy a stock. So. If I'd waited a couple minutes and sold for, you know, an extra uh, four cents a share on, you know, say 10,000 or 20,000 shares, you know, there's an extra eight, uh, 500, 800 dollars, and that would have been nice. And then my last 10,000, I sold 10,000 shares at 22 cents to this candle, and then my last uh, 10,000 shares at 23.9 and 23.1 uh, cents. And uh, see, you actually see that you know, from 9.47, uh, it actually dropped. Why? Because everyone, all the paid people, all the people who had paid to get on the premium list, and then all the free people who got it early, who were checking early, you know, they wanted to sell them to the idiots buying at 9.47. So, at the current moment, I'm short 2,000 shares uh, from 23 and a bit since, but uh, and it's, you know, it's a little bullish here. It'll go up more, but then tomorrow it'll drop more, so. That's it for today. Uh, see you next time, reapertrades.com.